There's been a lot of opinions, and there has been some doubt. At this point, I don't need, like, the peanut gallery. Kyle. I need people rallying, not questioning. This is super awkward. Dude, what the f was that? It's so weird. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's going to make her upset? It's your birthday. Relax. 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 Like, what? Like, there's so many people who have no idea what the f he's talking about. That was so, and I had to stand up there for that. So weird. You honestly handled it with so much poise. No, she huffs and puffs off. Oh, that was awkward, Kyle. Hey, I'll no, say what I want to say on my what? birthday. Hey, hey. That was asking... super passive okay. aggressive. She's a little you uncomfortable. Your bridal party shouldn't be telling you to push off the wedding. They weren't. Okay. They weren't. I'm just trying to like literally speak my mind Kyle. among friends. There's Kyle, other people involved. Lose the attitude. We literally just Relax. talked about this today in therapy. Dude, I know. That was just weird. Right. Thanks for nothing. It's complicated life. You okay? No, he just walked away. He walked away? Who the f is the bathroom? I don't know why he does this. Like, that was a lot. Like, we're at a birthday. You're right? That was like, I'm like literally up there trying to quiet the peanut gallery. This is my first chance to address the people that I care about in what was supposed to be a constructive way. And I think ultimately, like Amanda was just thinking you were gonna just, you know, talk about your birthday. I understand it's an opportunity, but I, you don't need to make it like. Amanda will never let me say anything of any That's substance to any of her friends. Did something happen last weekend? Saturday, we get home from lunch, and Kyle is like pacing outside, and Danielle's like setting up for the party, and then he just starts venting, and he basically says to her like, "Yeah, Amanda and I have nothing in common but lover boy." I can't just be like. Hey, thanks for the intervention on Sunday. I'm a better man for it. I just wish Kyle would read the room sometimes. I know he's an emotional person. Certainly, it's valid that he has those feelings, but giving a, a bizarre speech on your birthday, just, I don't know, I think you can handle it in a different way. I had to get off my chest. Yeah. Feel quiet. Cool off. I just want to come and check on you. I don't even know who's left. Oh, like, I'm here for you, buddy. Brag as your what? day to <laughs> <start away. laughs> I don't know. It's in a month. So Craig is going to be there, but it's not going to be Meg Steele. <laughs> Do you actually want to take me on a date, though? Maybe I do. I think it would be rude to go on a date with you because I am still talking to Craig. OK. Makes sense. I wanted to see if, you know, there was some room for us to see each other in more of a serious way. But this is not going anywhere. I have a lot of love to give, and I'm ready for it. So now I can move on and find the right girl. I'm happy that we could talk. I'm happy you're happy. I'm trying to be happy. Yeah. I'm gonna go piss. Hi, I'm running to the restroom, but I wanted to cut you too. I don't want you for a second to feel like we were talking badly about you or your relationship. I thought there was an hour long conversation about calling off the wedding. No, it was like, are you good? Are you happy? What do you need to be happy? I've literally been where you are right now. And I felt the heartache of it all. No, You're about to make a very large decision in your life, so. You're probably the only person that was out by the pool sure, that like, really can understand. And I didn't say a lot. I don't mind the questioning, like, from like a, be better, like, yeah. you know, but like, not like, I, call it off. I don't feel like that was the sentiment that anyone suggested. We want you to feel supported, and we want you guys right. to run down the aisle. I don't want to walk, you know? No, but like, now you know, I'm Hold here. It. Oh, my gosh. These are so good. Are we on a date right now? It is an aphrodisiac. But we'll see you guys at Kyle's wedding. Yes. And then by then, I you'll be engaged. See me, she says yes. <laughs> Look at us all grown up. Right? What a, what a long, strange trip it's been. I was riding the waves, like, woo! <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Congrats, babe. Ooh. Come here. I was talking to Maya. I know that might, might have felt directed. I, I just want everyone to know that, like, I'm literally just trying to be as honest as possible, where I'm I mean, just yeah, like, listen, same, like, yeah. we are not perfect, but we are fully committed. And I understand yeah. some things I say might be aggressive in the moment. We'll just look. We Punch love you in you. the dick. Yeah, time. we love you. We are excited for your wedding. I can't handle wait. things differently. You're just a small baby. Can you I be 40 you. yet, please? That's like, grow up. <laughs> grow up. This is supposed to be my mature party. Next year, the house burned down.
Catch me in the city, house of Diddy with my friends. Keep the bottles popping, cause our pockets never end. Got the juice, got the sauce, got the work, I'm a boss. <laughs> Do you love being in the city? I do. For like a little bit. I mean, I don't want to leave. I just... <laughs> you have to leave this weekend anyway. And I have a golf tournament. We've had fun. We've had so much fun. This week, I sent Craig a text message just being like, hey, this is where my head's at. And if we're not on the same page, consider me out. Great having you. I love having you here. And the next thing I know, Craig is on a flight to New York to hang out with me. So. Very cozy. Wait, it's really homey, right? Yeah, like I'm comfortable here. And there's yeah. times like I've been in the city and I'm like, I feel trapped. But it's perfect. Wait, there's... I also like that recently when we've been out, we look at each other and say, it's time for couch stuff. Yeah, and they're like, oh, what's that? And I was like, <laughs> like no, we're just like... <laughs> We're gonna make snacks and watch our favorite shows. Um. What? I don't know. You're the one that's brief. No, I just hate bringing this stuff up. What? <laughs> no, it's not bad. Oh. Look, I'm like not the type of girl to ever ask a guy like, "What are we?" I think that's like so loserish. <laughs> but obviously, we've been like hanging out more, and I love whatever we're doing. Like, I'm not. Look, I mean, it's you on really spot. simple. Like, we're always gonna be jealous of each other. It's yeah. not worth, though, saying, like, we're completely, like, exclusive, because I think that would put too much stress on it. And I don't think it would last. At this moment, my arc of our relationship, we just end up hanging out more and more.